This patient was operated elsewhere. The patient has developed a thick fibrinous inflammatory membrane around the intraocular lens. What should we do in such cases? After several weeks of conservative treatment with steroids, I have decided to surgically remove the inflammatory membrane. Uh, incision 2.8 millimeter has been made at 10 o'clock. This is visco 2% SPMC. And now I take a Sinsky hook, pierce the membrane just adjacent to the anterior capsular rim and tear off the membrane. And now I take a uterator forceps and remove the membrane. Before introducing the uterator, some more visco is injected into the anterior chamber and this is the uterator forceps. The inflammatory membrane is firmly adherent to the anterior capsular rim and it was causing profound dimness of vision. Vision was only 6 by 36. And then I give a nice anterior chamber lavage, a thorough anterior chamber lavage. I try to go behind the anterior capsular rim. The intraocular lens is mobilized and here I could go behind the anterior capsular rim and polish the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim. And some more fluid went behind the lens. There was no inflammatory membrane covering the posterior capsule. And now I decided to inject a small amount of tramsnolone acetate. This is known as Kenacord in India. And then I took a Simcoe cannula and washed out most of the Kenacord. Just few particles of tramsnolone acetate remained and the patient did very well postoperatively. These few particles act as strong anti-inflammatory agents and we need not give high dose of systemic steroid in such cases. This is moxifloxacin, the hydration of the corneal stroma is being done by moxifloxacin and some amount is injected in the anterior chamber and I find the intraocular pressure is fine. Thank you very much for your attention. Friends, we are going through a very tough time. COVID-19 pandemic has taken more than 34,000 lives throughout the world till yesterday. Please take all precautions to remain healthy. I pray for your good health to the Almighty. Thank you very much.